guys. It's Sarah Upside Down here. Um, <clears throat> I know it's been a while since I did a video, not counting the one that I uh, uploaded for Autistic Pride, but I like kind of got into it and then, I don't know, I'm a mom with two kids, so sometimes I just, <laughs> I don't know. I really have to put a lot of focus into it and and make the time. And so anyways, trying to do that more, uh, especially when I come across things that are really helpful um, for me and what have kind of helped me more in my journey. So today I'm kind of doing a review on these glasses. Uh, like I can't pronounce this, <laughs> but uh, Sykesus. Anyways, I was watching a video um, of Paul from Asperger's on the inside and um, always love watching his videos. They're super great, <clears throat> but um, he had these glasses on that he was wearing and I, I don't know if these are the same ones or they're similar, but I have tried like red glasses. I, I mean, I have dyslexia also uh, along with autism and so I was trying to find help with reading and I was trying to find how I could read more books and not just, you know, use my Kindle. And I figured out why I always struggled with reading. Not that I didn't like to, it's just, it, it was a big struggle for me. Um, and also, um, just the sensory part of everything, having issues with like the fluorescent lights LED lights, just light in general, sunlight, you know, all the lights, just all the lights. And so I was like determined to find something. Like I used a little overlays for the dyslexia and I don't know, just all that stuff like really just was, you know, you have to pull out things all over the place. I kind of wanted one like innovative pair of glasses that worked for my uh, light sensitivities and for my sensory uh that was the same thing for my dyslexia. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so when I watched his video, I had just like previously tried these, uh, just red glasses, whatever for like also helpful for Erlen syndrome. I had also tried like the Therospecs and I don't know, they just didn't work for me for whatever reason. So I was like, okay, like, <laughs> I'm just going to take a break for a little bit until I saw that video of his, and I was like, well, they don't look so dark, and they also are, like, not, you know, you're not walking around wearing, like, dark red glasses all the time, which, whatever, uh, but you could also only wear those for 30 minutes at a time, and these I can wear the entire day. So I got these on Amazon. They were maybe like $12, $13 uh, versus like the $100 pair that I sent back and like the other ones. And I'm sure they were all great for somebody else. But for me, I think just having the dyslexia and having also the uh, sensory processing issues with light. Um, yeah, it just, they, they didn't work for me. So uh, these I got and... Um, just show you up close. They have like an amber tinted lens, which is also kind of what Paul had on his uh, video. And got this nice little black rim going on here. And so they're not totally just like looking like you came from outer space, which, you know, I kind of feel like anyways. <laughs> but I can wear them and, uh, you know, when I go inside, it just looks like it has a little bit of tint. Uh, and it also isn't damaging my eyes because sometimes when you wear sunglasses, if you go inside and you're constantly wearing your sunglasses, which, hey, if that's what you need, that's what you need. But um, it's kind of like me for my headphones. If I wear them all the time, when I take them off, like then that sound is going to be way more extreme to me than what it what it was before. Like I mostly need it for, you know, at home, actually, <laughs> or whenever my kids and I go to the grocery store. <laughs> Um, but I do tend to wear those a lot and then I feel like the sound is twice as loud. So same with sunglasses and the darker glasses. I feel like that can be worse on your eyes versus just having this that it, they also block the blue light. Um, so, and I was just watching, um, 
one of Aspie World's videos on stuff to help people with Asperger's, autism, uh, what have you, to relax. I'm like, I can't even be still right now, so I don't know how I'm going to tell you to relax. But um, trying to disconnect from the, you know, the blue screens and screens in general. But I have noticed that whenever I wear these, since they're blue, blue light blocking glasses as well, um, my eyes feel a little less strained whenever I am using my screen, which I'm trying to use less, <laughs> but they do help quite a bit more. Um, anyways, so I'm like, I'm um, <clears throat> that's actually my side of the room over here. We've been like redoing our office where we can have a giant L desk. This is me going off track with ADHD. But anyways, I wanted to be on my husband's side so that like my cool side would show in the background because his is not as fun. <laughs> um, anyways, if you're struggling with the light sensitivity and you know, even if you don't have dyslexia, these psychosis, whatever glasses, I'm sure that um, they would benefit you quite a bit. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've literally probably tried like five different kinds of all different prices. And these were like the best bang for your buck. They're on Amazon. You get them quick. You can return them if you don't like them, whatever. But for me, they are awesome. And it even comes with like a little blue light laser thing. So you can like take your glasses <laughs> and like shine it against there and like see how much it blocks the blue light. So I liked that they kind of added that in there uh, for you to check out. And they're comfortable and pretty durable. So uh, you also get the little soft thing to clean them with. And <laughs> a nice case that I never actually put them, with, but put them in because since I've got them, like, I never take them off pretty much unless it's like the past couple days very... Um, foggy and kind of gray outside. I feel like it's not as bright. I know technically you tan better sometimes. <laughs> Whatever, you get my point. Um, so yeah, uh, shout out to Sexus on Amazon for their awesome glasses and Paul from Asperger's on the inside for doing his um, autism glasses or whatever review to help me find these. Anyways, See y'all later. Bye.